One of my guests tonight is the star of the new Walter Mitty film, but a man who spends his life daydreaming. You know, sometimes I, I wish, I wish I was just an ordinary member of the audience. You know, like you. You know, just like a really ordinary <laughs> old person. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? Try to imagine it. Try to imagine it. Imagine it. Imagine it. Imagine it. Imagine it. <gasps> read that, read it, read it, read it. Let's start the show! Yes! <laughs> Cavalcade of talent I have on the sofa tonight. One of the funniest stars in Hollywood, the brilliant Ben Stiller is here, ladies and gentlemen. I know. Bilbo Baggins himself, Martin Freeman is here. Yes. Foodie guru Jamie Oliver is on the show. Yeah. Plus, we've got music from Rebecca Ferguson. Yay. Oh. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting Jamie, Jamie Oliver. Here he is. There he is. Oh, see, he loves doing a selfie. <laughs> loves doing a selfie. And is there anyone who loves a selfie more than him? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, Cameron Obama and the Danish Prime Minister taking a selfie at a slightly inappropriate occasion. Hey, hey, I wonder if Michelle Obama thought that was funny. <laughs> no, she did not. <laughs> Delighted to have Martin Freeman back on the show. Now, he's about to reprise his role as Bilbo Baggins in the new Hobbit film. Now, see, that's him there in the lair of smog. A ruthless, ill-tempered dragon who guards his gold jealously. Mm. <laughs> I don't like your ring, I don't like your hairy feet, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> I do impressions. <laughs> So excited to welcome Ben Stiller onto the show. Now, he'll be telling... Yes, yes, you might well cheer. He'll be telling me all about uh, his new film, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Now, in the movie, uh, Ben's character spends his whole life daydreaming. And, you know, all sorts of people have daydreams. Mm, I'd like to achieve world <laughs> peace. I'd like to be prime minister. <laughs> I like cheese. <laughs> Gents, Hello. all well, all Hi. good, yeah, all good. Very good. Yeah. You, have, you have a large audience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Because heating your home is quite expensive. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, uh, a very sorry catch, but now, do you all, no, you two know each other for sure? Where we've met before. We yeah. met, yes. Mm. Um, where did we meet? At your... <laughs> <laughs> I know we met, it was a long time uh, ago. At your premiere when you, that film that you did when you wiped your bum with a ferret. Oh, yeah. yeah. That one. <laughs> A long came pause. Yes, yeah. thank you very yeah, much. A long yeah. that it was, was emotional. Uh, it meant a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and clearly you've stayed in touch. Yeah. And, uh, and Martin and I ran, we ran into each other at a restaurant. Do you remember that? Yeah, in I do. York. A couple of times, and then I came to see you in a play. Yes, that's came right. To see you in a very right, good right, play right. in which you were very good. Okay. Don't be yeah. surprised. He's a very good actor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's very good. I'm not lying. Seriously. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, a couple of times. It, for a moment, yes. it looked like we might do a film together. Yes. And then we didn't. I know, it fell apart. Yeah, it did, but never mind. I like your socks, though. Thanks, man. <laughs> it swings and roundabouts, doesn't it? We didn't do a film, yeah. but look at these socks. Right. <laughs> yeah. It all comes and, together. Yeah. And Martin and Jamie, yes, no? Never. We've never... No. I don't think <gasps> we've ever met. Oh, this is lovely. We just, we just met just in the toilet. Yeah, in the toilet, and it was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I missed out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was and cute. Now, Jamie Oliver, a chef, is on the show, and I notice. Oh yes. Have you brought us Christmas yes. treats? Yes. Well, um, I, I mean, always pie. I like no, 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 no. Uh, chocolate. Oh. Um, but also That's... vegan brownies for a certain friend who's Fantastic. a vegan here. Oh. Yes, uh, I am. I, I, I um... <laughs> Vegan brownies. Yeah, yeah well, I, I, I always check okay. any dietary requirements and they said... Right. Vegan. Don't I, be so disdainful. I, well, so, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, just, I, I actually, I was a vegan. <laughs> oh, no, so that's really annoying. <laughs> A vegan is annoying, yeah. but a vegan who shows up who then goes, oh, no, I can eat anything. I think uh, I got <laughs> too annoying as a vegan. I was too hungry. I can't tell you how hard it was to develop a really good brownie that was vegan. What is it? <laughs> you can try it first if you want. It's a homemade, fresh. I'll, I'll, I'll try one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It doesn't mean I can't eat things that are vegan just because I used to be a vegan. OK. Right. But it does seem a just waste a, of effort, yeah. doesn't it? No. Are these all vegan? They're all, all vegan and gluten And I don't really eat eggs or dairy that Unbelievable. much. Unbelievable. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, eggs are in veganism, right. Right. aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Now, what you, shouldn't you know all about that stuff? <laughs> well, to be honest, I just phoned up Nigella and said, can you sort me out? <laughs> <laughs> the way to do it. <laughs> These are great. Very nice. Very nice. Would, would you like to try some? Yeah. Mm. Please, 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 they please taste... give them away. <laughs> they taste very, um, they taste very healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very healthy. Ooh, huh? A <laughs> vegan brownie for you. <laughs> Working the crowd. Um, this is really good. Thank, Thank you. That's what happens when you give away free food. Yeah, I know. Oh. They were so delicious, I finished mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't feel you have to finish it, by the way. <laughs> 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 I like it. I'm enjoying oh. it. Thanks. Listen, very quickly, I've got to mention one of my favourite films, uh, Zoolander. Uh, I just I lo love so many films. Yes, yeah. It's correct. Yeah. Um, now, is it true there's going to be a sequel? Uh, possibly. Possibly. There's a script. We wrote a script and trying to figure out if we can get it together. And I just want to make sure we can put it together the way that it should be put together. And the success of it, does it kind of plague you? The kind of the blue steel and all that stuff? <laughs> no, I actually like it because of that. Because of the fact that, you know, it, it wasn't a big hit. And, uh, you know, but do, I do get people, like, people will, you know, on Twitter will send me pictures of their kids, you know, their babies saying, this is my baby doing blue steel. <laughs> and it's literally just like a baby like this. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody seems to feel their child is doing first deal, which is that's nice. Though. Do you have to make an effort, like if you're doing a proper photo shoot, promotional for something, right. do you have to kind of make sure your face never goes into, <laughs> into blue steel. Yeah, I kind of do it unintentionally sometimes. I mean, it, really, the whole look came out of uh, the way that I, my wife told me that I look when I would um, brush my hair in the mirror. <laughs> like, just when I'd look in the mirror, I'd be, like, looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> and she'd go, like, why are you going like this? And uh, I realized that was my mirror face. Because, so. <laughs> obviously, you know, mobile phones have changed that mm -hmm. whole thing of photographs and stuff. And now, Martin, I hear mm -hmm. you are very happy to mm -hmm. have your picture taken. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's absolute bullshit. Go on. Go on. Do you hate... Sorry, I don't know the rest of the sentence. Do you ha well, well, actually, the rest of the sentence now is informed by yes. your reaction. Yes. But what you never you smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm not that happy. The clue is in the fact that I'm not really smiling. I, I can't. I mean, I don't mind moving images of myself. Um, but I, yeah, still photography, I've never quite got the hang of. I don't know what face to pull. I don't, yeah, blue steel, I should try that. But um, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not, I don't hate it, but I'm not very good at it at all, no. Because it was one of the, as men, you always feel a bit inadequate in a photo shoot. I sure do. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I definitely don't know what I'm doing in the first shoot. Because, right. Jamie, yeah. they must try to make you do oh. terrible things. Oh. <laughs> My, my, you know, uh, from the Naked Chef times, I mean, like, it's just constantly being asked to uh, get your kit off and um, wow. so it's just a, a nightmare. And, or juggle fruit and veg and stick them in places and smile, smile. <laughs> I am smiling, smile a bit more. Mm -hmm. See those teeth, mm -hmm. I, you know. But one photographer did get you to get, get your kit off. Uh, well, partly. Uh, <laughs> well, it took a while to, to get the confidence to say no and, mm -hmm. like, learn from J-Lo um, and say no. <laughs> um, but, um, no, I, I, I did an awful shoot. Actually, uh, it was for an American magazine in a bathtub full of suds and fruit, I think. It was such a, <laughs> the worst picture. I don't know why. I, I can't did. imagine what that looks like. <laughs> You're a baby! You're a baby! Okay. <laughs>
the thing is, I've got four kids now, so it's going to be the next few years when, when Poppy and Daisy come back and go, Dad, Dad, what, why were you dressed up in that leather <laughs> outfit with that dog and why were you in that giant fruit bowl? Oh, dear. Uh, well, listen, uh, let's talk about Ben's new film. Your new film is The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. And this is you as an actor and a director. Mm -hmm. uh, it's out on the 26th of December. That's Boxing Day. Yes. Or St. Stephen's Day. Yes. What, what, what is the origin of that term, Boxing Day? Isn't I, it, I feel very American. Don't you open, isn't it when you it open was, your boxes? Isn't that... Oh, is that what it is? No, I no, believe it was not. a coal delivery, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> Nobody knows. Sorry? Does anybody care? No, it's when the family had a big fist fight following a yeah. terrible Christmas day. <laughs> Which is more true yeah. than that. Yeah. Uh, is it called anything in America? Uh, the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Oh, OK. The movie? Yeah, good. No, oh, I'm Boxing Day. Yeah. No, there's no... It's a very long name. It's uh, called The Day After Christmas. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's catchy. Yeah. Uh, but listen, the thing about this film is, it, it, you, you talk about The Hobbit being an epic, but this... You know, it's a comedy, but it also has a, this epic element to yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, a guy going out into the world on this journey. Uh, the character, Walter Mitty, is a daydreamer, and he's, uh, he lives in his head a lot, and he's forced to go out into the world and find this negative because he categorizes pictures for Life magazine, and he's never really gone out into the world. So he has this adventure, and we went to some places like Iceland, and he goes off into the world. So, yeah, it was fun. We had some Hobbit-like, you know... Type vistas. vistas, really, yeah. yeah. No, seriously, really yeah. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, it makes you, no, no, it makes you want to go to Iceland. <laughs> 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 we didn't have any elves, but yeah. we had um, mountains and stuff. Yeah, right. And, and you, you've got those elements, don't you? Got the, the fantasy elements. Yes. Where they're almost like big action sequences. Yeah, and in, in New the, York. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, Walter lives, uh, he lives in New York, and a lot of his fantasies involve him doing things in New York. And there's one, he has a boss that, that's really uh, horrible to him. and. He uh, has this fantasy of fighting the boss through the streets of New York that we shot on the streets of New York, but it's sort of this superhero mm -hmm. fight. Uh, but there was a safety rig. I'm sure you had to do stuff like that. We had like did some crazy. I just didn't use any safety rigs. It, it's just a choice. <laughs> <laughs> some people do. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this stuff was really dangerous. Was it though? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's yeah. a hundred foot dragon, mate. <laughs> <laughs> But First some of the go. stuff, some of the stuff does look dangerous, but you're directing it, but because you're doing the stuff, yeah. you've then got stunt people telling you... Yes, yeah, when, once you get there, you know, you work it out, and then you let a second unit guy or, you know, stunt coordinator, this guy Phil Nielsen, who's great, but he's an ex-Marine, and I sort of let him take over during mm -hmm. those moments, and, like, there was a sequence where I had to jump into the water in Iceland off the coast, coast in the North Sea and... Chilly. Uh, chilly. 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 Yeah, yeah, very chilly. Uh, and, uh, but once you... I was wearing a dry suit, which kept me, my body warm, but my hands and head, when they got wet, you know, everything gets really cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we did a shot where I had to jump in and there's this fishing trawler behind me. It's like six foot swells. And uh, we did it once and I thought we had it. And then he made me do it again, of course. <laughs> and um, I said, well, do we have to? And he said, uh, you know, yes. <laughs> It sort of like made me feel like I was going to be like a like a <laughs> pussy or something. But, <laughs> um, actually, the, the, you mentioned being in the water. The clip we have is you in the water. Yeah. And this is <clears> where <throat> the kind of the fantasies have stopped, and now it's he's encountering yes, real life. Exactly. Yeah. It's all sort of happening. Here's the clip. There's a fin here, I think. Don't fear the porpoise. I don't think it's a porpoise. I'm telling you, it's a purpose. It will protect you from the sharks. Okay! Come here. Hey. Hey. Okay, that's a shark. That's what I said! It's not a purpose! It's not a purpose! Wow. Well, listen, uh, The Secret Life of Walter yeah. Mitty is obviously about a man's rich fantasy life. Mm -hmm. So we asked the audience yeah. if they had fantasies. Now, Ben, yes. wow. I can imagine these are going to blow you away. Look at that audience. Imagine the rich fantasy <laughs> lives they will have. For instance, where's Elaine? There's Elaine. Now, let's have a look at Elaine. Let's get the camera to Elaine. Can we see her? There's Elaine. You know, she just looks like a regular lady. Mm -hmm. Wait till you hear her fantasy. Go on, this is Elaine. Elaine's fantasy. OK. I work in a small independent opticians. That's not the fantasy. That's reality, <laughs> That's reality. <laughs> this is her fantasy. She fantasizes that someone 
would come in and buy all the expensive sunglasses, as I know that would really stand me in good stead with the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fantasy. That's, uh, really swinging for the fences there. Yeah. <laughs> she has given herself the freedom to dream, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Keep Good dreaming. on you, Elaine. Keep yeah. dreaming. Keep, Keep dreaming. dreaming. <laughs> that, that's really amazing. <laughs> that is really... I wouldn't have guessed. Looking at you, it, it's impossible to tell. This next one's a little better. Uh, Rita, <laughs> where's Rita? Oh, there's Rita. Look at Rita. Oh, she's so frisky. Her <laughs> fancy, her fancy is rubbing olive oil well, all over... Jamie Oliver. Whoa! <laughs> and I like, no, but I like the way she's, she's made it into a recipe. Seasoning him with a dash of salt and pepper. <laughs> wow. Would you then cook him? Is that the idea? Absolutely, yes. Put a little olive oil in his cheeks. I think so. And a bit more elsewhere. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Hello. Hello. Happy, happy Christmas. Yeah, God. <laughs> may, may I ask a question? Please do. Hello. Hello. Um, Thank you. <laughs> um, would that be extra virgin olive oil? <laughs> Without a shadow of doubt. And would that be your everyday sort of cheap salt or sea salt? Oh, it's got to be sea salt, nothing Ooh, else. Coarser, coarser. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I like the way I like the way you imagine you're going to eat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm really I'm hoping I'm going to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Made a lot of marinades in my time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, where's Lucy? Where's Lucy? <laughs> Oh, there's Lucy. Wait, Hello. Graham, Graham, can they, can the person speak their own fantasy? Oh, okay, go. <laughs> I'd love to. Can I, can I just say, Ben, we've been doing this show for 15 years, we've learned that no, they can't. <laughs> That's why, I'm reading, that's why I'm reading them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We've, right. It's a trial and error process. And, uh, you see Lucy now? Incapable. Uh, <laughs> just looking... <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Get ready to read it out. Read it out. <laughs> but I know what you mean. It okay. does seem weird nice that they're try. here. Nice try. Yeah, a lot of them don't speak English. Um, <laughs> Mostly translated. They're mostly translated for me, yeah. Uh, 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 Lucy, uh, I fantasize, and I, I think this might be true, she fantasized about getting a selfie with Martin Freeman and he smiled in the picture. Come down, come down. I'm not a bad one. Yeah. Yeah. So, huddle in here and you're going to do, do it yourself. Do you want to do it yourself? Um, well, it's a I'll selfie, take, isn't I'll it? Take, it's, it's, a, a it's a selfie. A selfie is the definition of a selfie. She's doing it herself. Who, who is that? Really? Who's that? Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a wrestler. It's a wrestler. It's a wrestler. It's a wrestler. Yeah. Why the hell do you want a selfie with me? <laughs> If your normal kind of guy is a wrestler. This is very exciting for you. It's a fantasy come true. Okay. Okay. It's not a selfie. Right. Okay. It's not. It's an. It's I know. Other I know. But this is quicker. I feel. And her hands are shaking. <laughs> More fun. Oh, he's smiling. He's smiling. He's smiling. Oh, come on. Come on. Smile. Smile. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. You got your selfie. Well done, Lucy. There she goes. Yeah. You made a fantasy come true. Now. It is funny to see you smiling, though. <laughs> It is. It's like you're doing a, a character or something. <laughs> it's, it's something. He doesn't even know me and he thinks I'm a miserable shit. <laughs> wow. He saw you in that restaurant. So going, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, talking <laughs> fantasies, The Hobbit, greatest fantasy film of all time, is back. Uh, it opened in cinemas today. Now, uh, last time we saw you, you were about halfway to smog. <laughs> smog. I love that. <laughs> Not even trying. Smog. <laughs> Is it smog? Yes, love. Oh, right. Yeah. Not smog. 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 It's yes. my accent. I'm from Ireland. Hey, no, that's not... We, no. In Ireland, we say smog. <laughs> <laughs> it's indifferent, Graham, is what it is. Not your accent. Anyway, you're yes. halfway to the dragon's kind lair. Of, yes, you, you pick us up where we're very much on the journey, facing a lot of trials and tribulations, and, um, and Bilbo has... He's in a different phase of his life. He's no longer the sort of ingenue and innocent, wide-eyed thing. He's having to get stuck in and... Do or die. Really. And there's lots more action in this one, in a way, because there's oh, less so, exposition. Yeah. And it's, there is, yeah. exactly. I mean, the, you know, a fair bit in the first film, you have to set up, you know, the premise of, of who everybody is. 
and introduce 13 Dwarves for a start. And um, this one, we just start running and expect the audience to, to hopefully know where we are. Yeah. yeah. And, this, and seriously, your performance in this, I think it's, it's I don't know how you do it, because it's so clever. How, oh, thank you. Well, in terms of how the ring is changing Bilbo and da, 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 yeah. I mean, and it's over such a long period yes. of time. Yeah. What, you mean the filming of it? Well, well all of it. You yes. know, it, actually <clears throat> watching it's long, but, but, the, but no, but... <laughs> That was almost a compliment. No, it is a compliment. Yeah. Christ, it's long. Do you, do you file away in your head kind of a where should I be in my arc here? Or does Definitely. Peter Jackson keep yes. reminding you? No, well, it's a, a mixture of both. You know, I mean, just sort of page one acting is, you know, where have I been, where am I going, what do I want, and all that. And um, so you have to really keep a, a handle on that over a period of, you know, from beginning to end, it was two and a half years, including wow. breaks and all that. But, yeah, it's a long gig. Well, listen, we've got a little clip. Uh, this is the de <laughs> desolation... Go on, Go on. The desolation of Smaug. Smaug. <laughs> well, well, well. Is that better? Mm. Was that really? Yeah, Smaug, as in Smaug. crowd, yeah. Oh, it rhymes with crowd. Smaug, yeah. Smaug. Okay. Mm. The desolation of Smaug. Yeah, exactly. Smaug. Keep it that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, this is you. <laughs> this is you. This uh, Ian McGellan is giving his Gandalf, yeah. and uh, he's he started to twig that uh, Bilbo is changing. Okay. You've changed, Bilbo Baggins. You're not the same Hobbit as the one who left the Shire. I was going to tell you. I found something in the Goblin Tunnels. Found what? What did you find? My carriage. Good. Well, that's good. You need it. I feel like I'm coming around my uncle's house. Where I come from. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that, was yeah. that was good. Thank you. Very good. Yes. <laughs> and now you guys, are you <clears throat> fans of this genre? How or? much do you love me? <laughs> I love them, thanks. You? I think you're pretty good. Good. <laughs> I'm actually a huge Martin Freeman fan. For oh, years and years, yeah. Thank you so so much. I'm very excited to be on the show. With thank you. you. Yeah. yeah. Time thank with you, you very much. Yeah. And uh, I'm very excited about the new. Uh, Sherlock season, but right? mainly yeah. my bit in it. Yeah, yeah. 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 mainly me. Yeah. Mainly me, not mainly. Me. It's not all about me. you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's all about Martin. Yeah. Uh, back <laughs> on New Year's Day. Correct. <laughs> it's actually the first, the fifth, and the twelfth. Yeah. So they're really chucking them out there. Yes. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Now, one of the odd things uh, the Sherlock fans do is uh, when Benedict was here, he was mm -hmm. telling us about how they compare him to an otter. Mm. And, and you, it seems unlikely, but here's a classic of the, there, there's Benedict coming back. <laughs> and here he is looking like an otter. <laughs> uh, <it's> just... <laughs> and it does sort of work. Yeah. So now they've got, they've got you compared to another woodland creature. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you know what's coming? No, I'm, I'm do, do you, know... you, don't, you don't follow me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? Can you guess what woodland creature Martin Freeman might be? Careful. <laughs> Other side. Ah. Uh, Keep it clean. <laughs> it's really unlikely. Cat Thank we you. Cat weasel? Unbelievable. <laughs> That was not he, even he, a creature. He really... <laughs> He's just an old tramp in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. no, it is. It's a hedgehog. Uh, no, and you kind of think, how can a person look like a hedgehog? Because a hedgehog is not expressive. Uh, <laughs> I'm so wrong. I'm so wrong. So uh, here's here's Martin. Here's Martin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to think, a hedgehog couldn't never, look like that. Never. A hedgehog couldn't look like that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, so, happy hedgehog. Mm -hmm. Then we've got uh, less happy Martin. Does he have a hedgehog to look like him? Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I, don't, uh, I don't think he looks like a hedgehog at all. I think that just anybody making a face, you put a hedgehog next to them, will look like a hedgehog. I think, I think Ben's seen through the floor in this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, OK. Explain this one, then. Okay. This is so specific. OK? OK? Now, mm -hmm. look at the hedgehog. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> True positive. I rest my case, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. This is a, this is okay. If, you, if you're not buying this, this is the clincher. Okay. Okay. Mm. Here's Martin Freeman, obviously encountering, ah, wow. <laughs> encountering fans, and uh, <laughs> how could a hedgehog do it's this? It's not possible. I'm told this isn't photoshopped. It also looks like a mutant hedgehog. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a post-apocalyptic hedgehog. And well done, the hedgehog. Very well. Done. Okay. Now, very quickly, it's Christmas, and Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without Jamie Oliver being top of the best-selling mm. book list. Uh, save with Jamie. Yes. And this kind of came from your online community, your fans, the forums. Yeah. That they liked the quick recipes. Yeah, well, the, the, you know, the, the, the fans, the people that like to cook, they know what they want, and uh, one minute it's speed, uh, and the next minute it was very much really delicious food, uh, comfort food that, you know, is not going to break the bank, stuff that's going to, you know, help save you money. And I kind of thought it was a timely thing in the recession, really, and looking at sort of, you know, the average Brit wastes about 40% of everything that we buy. I just sort of thought it would be really good for, let, uh, you know, let me just worry about creating a whole book of delicious food where the average cost is about £1.30 a portion, um, and rest assured that it's delish. So that's what I did, and yeah. hopefully people love it. And then you ask the readers questions throughout the book. There's mm -hmm. questions he asked me. For instance, here's one on page 70. Uh, <laughs> have you ever opened a bottle of wine and not quite finished it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Okay, let's do a survey. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, Jamie, survey. Jamie, if you did that, how would you know it was time to go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> it's a world turned upside down. That's just crazy talk. Uh, but there's some really lovely recipes in here, and really, yeah. I try, I mean, you know, I try and make them solid and safe, and we test the hell out of them, and we get the public to test them, and um, we get teenagers to test them, so, you know, hopefully that's what we're known for, stuff that works. I mean, there's nothing more to bring out the, the anger in the British public or any public than when they go shopping for a load of ingredients and it don't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, in the chef world, it seems very competitive, the chef world. Yes, very much so. And you seem to be fair game for some reason. Like, Gordon Ramsay's been quite rude about you. Yes. That, why you? Why did they pick on you? Because you're successful. No, we used to get on. Did you really? Yeah. But, um... <laughs> I don't know, really. Don't know what happened. Well, it's a shame. It is a bit. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit, because, you know, it, there's, there's... You know, when I was a young chef and you're, you're training, there's certain characters that are your everything and you look up and read every word of their books. And, uh, and then when life doesn't quite work like that, you're a bit disappointed, yeah. really. Because, Ben Stiller, you're very competitive, aren't you? Am I? That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. I can get competitive and, yeah, like, uh, yeah, sometimes, sure. Didn't ping pong take over your life? Um, <laughs> ping pong... Yes, I, there was a ping pong table on a movie I was working on, and, and then there, there was a tournament that developed, and I got very competitive. And I really shouldn't have been competitive because I'm not very good. <laughs> it's really frustrating to be competitive and not be good at something. Um, so uh, it became part. Yeah, definitely. But then didn't you train up? You decided, um, right, I'm going to do this. I took some lessons. <laughs> yeah. Table tennis lessons. Yes. Did you? Yeah. yeah. From a pro. From a pro. Uh, from a. Well, they said they were. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a world? I'm quite good at table yeah, tennis. Really? I genuinely am quite... I'm not brilliant, but I'm right. quite good. And Ooh. I was unbeaten. Actually, totally unbeaten. no. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. You were going to be a professional squash player, I thought you? I was going to be a squash player till I was about 14. As a junior squash player, I was very good. Yeah, I was wow. very good. I, I didn't even I know there was were good. professional squash players. Yeah, I mean, at the time I was doing it as well, in the 80s, it, it kind of... It nearly came over ground squash, and people got kind of known, and, and, and the national press started picking up on it. And, um... And my heroes started to be like on things like a question of sport and on grandstand, and you kind of knew for about five minutes squash was quite big, and then it kind of went underground again. Do you use the ceiling also in squash? <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the reason squash never because there's no ceiling. No, there's no ceiling. Oh, well, really? No, well, you just you use walls. Oh, is that racquetball? This yeah, but with a smaller uh, head and. And a smaller ball. Right. I mean, it's just meat and drink for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Well, dodgeball... Yeah. Didn't... Oh, yeah. Because you really did the dodgeball. I mean... Yeah, we, yeah, we... Had, yes, a long time ago, we had scenes in dodgeball, and, and my wife was in, in the scene, and I was playing against her in the scene, and uh, I had to, you know, nail her with the dodgeball, <laughs> and I, I did. <laughs> and, I was bang in the face. Yes, which you shouldn't do. No. You shouldn't do. I mean, it was... It wasn't... In, it was... I wanted to just get, get it right for the shot, but it wasn't, you know, but it, it was too strong. 
Was that a quiet drive home? Uh, I don't think we drove home together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got work to do. I'll yeah. see you back there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, uh, moving on, because a lot of cooking, a lot of cooking uh, talk is taken out of context. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's quite innuendo laden. If you take all the phrases that Jamie says and sort of stick them together, okay? Oh my and, God. No, a fan has done this. You've, pro you've probably seen this. Uh, so if you listen very carefully, I mean, there's visuals as well, but if you listen very carefully, uh, this is what you get. It's Jamie Oliver talks dirty. Hi guys, welcome to the Ministry of Food. I've got a bit of a bonus, but it's not hard. It's just over a centimetre thick, so it's not wobbling. Lovely. And you're gonna rub it backwards and forwards again and again and again. And, you know, not that there's a rush, but, you know, you need a sense of urgency. You can't just sit there sort of poking it around, OK? So keep it moving. We don't want it to be wobbly. Just keep tossing it off. There's no point in getting scared now. Rub it all over. Be careful, don't slap it all over the place. You're going to get in trouble. Second important bit. I'm going to get my cucumber here. I'm going to put it full whack into your burger. Again and again and again. And then we can have a little look inside it. And then I'm going to put it in your mouth. Some people love it, some people hate it. Give it a try. Don't turn your nose up at it. If you don't like it, you can take it out. Which I think is nice and reasonable. But, I mean, you know, let's not be precious. Because it doesn't really matter what it looks like. What does matter is that when you go and eat it, you don't get a massive chunk of cheese. Some people don't like it, some people love it because they're used to it. No point in worrying about it. Just stick it in there and do the best job possible. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, listen, it is uh, music time, everyone. But first, I know, uh, Ben, you've got to go. I do. Uh, yes, I, you yes. do. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to leave, though. Where the hell are you yeah. going? Uh, I'm supposed to go to a screening of our movie. Yeah. Mm. Followed by a vegan dinner party. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So please, no, you know what it is? I'm, I have to answer questions afterwards. That's why I have to go. Oh, that's, okay. I just, I'm not just going to watch mm. it. So I, I feel bad. Because, um, I want to... I know well, we've loved having okay. you here. Thank so uh, please say thank you to the fabulous Mrs. Ben Stiller. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I love this woman's voice. Truly one of the best acts ever to come out of The X Factor. Performing her current hit, I hope, I hope, I hope. It is Rebecca Ferguson.
forgive you and I forgive you for all that you I love that song. I've been playing it to death on the radio. Thank you so much for doing it. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, no, God, we're delighted to have you here. <laughs> and uh, that is out now, the it single. Is, yeah. But it's off the album, uh, second album. Now, we waited a while for the second album. I know. I was so busy. You know what, though? I finished um, working on the last album last December and then went straight into writing this album. So it seems like I've been away for quite a long time, but yeah. I have been busy. Oh, I believe you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, watching your daytime telly, picking your nose, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and this, all this new stuff, are you touring and are people going to see you? I am. I'm touring in March in the UK and I'm in Europe in April, so I'm busy. In the Europe in April? Yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I'll... In the Europe. <laughs> in the Europe. <laughs> Well, it's just something Sonia said years ago. Oh, it was it? <laughs> yeah, but she was doing the Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> I'm in the Europe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you, Sonia, impression? Oh, you're doing it. Very funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, uh, this is where we go tonight. Time for a story or two in the red chair. So, uh, let's see who's up first. Hello. Hi. Oh, you look a little tense. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You relax, relax. There's a crash mat. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, what's your name, sir? Jordan. Jordan. And uh, where do you live, Jordan? Uh, in London, but I'm from Yorkshire originally. All oh, right. What do you do in London? I'm a police officer. Oh, really? He's a police officer. Very good. What area of the police are you in? Are you a Bobby on the beat? A uh, detective. A detective? He's a detective. Ooh. He's a very young detective. He does seem very yeah, yeah. young. And yeah. you'd know, of course. I would know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're in Sherlock. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you meet the detectives. He looks, he's younger than Rupert Graves. He looks slightly, you know... He's, yeah. Uh, for me, I, I, he's too young to be a detective. You wouldn't cast him as a detective? No, he's no. way too young. Yeah. yeah. If you were broken into and he came around, you'd think, well, they're not going to solve this, No, of course they? not. <laughs> <laughs> Unless so, the crime has taken place in a kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> that is useless. Yes. Yeah. They stole our trampoline. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I've got distracted now, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> Officer Jordan, uh, off you go with this story. Well, it reminds me of a bit of cooking disaster. I apologise to Jamie now. Um, all my friends know I'm the worst cook ever, um, but after years and years, I finally got them round about two years ago, and I thought I'd do something a bit adventurous. So I made sausage, veg and mashed potato. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, and I was there mashing away to the mashed potato um, for, for hours, it felt like. And I don't know how you do it, you can't get the lumps out. So I thought, well, I'll put it in the food blender. And thinking that would get the lumps out, because that's what that does. Yes. Um, it didn't quite come out looking like mashed potato, though. Um, but I had no choice but to serve it. Um, oh. At which point, when my friends ate, finally ate this food, in fear as they were, they thought it was cheese sauce, because it was just liquid goo all over the oh. plate. <laughs> now, see, we brief them beforehand. We say, mm. tell us the <laughs> most amazing, <laughs> most amusing thing that's ever happened in your life. This is true. Jordan's a detective. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine all the exciting things that happened to that man. Oh, and he went with runny mashed potato. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I usually feel sorry for the people you do that to, but that, that was justified. It really was, wasn't it? <laughs> the thing that amazed me is, he had a blender. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing with that? <laughs> Must have been a gift. <laughs> uh, all right, let's have something else. Hello. Hi. Hi. Now, you're fine. You're fine. You could be the walker. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, what's your name, nice lady? It's Leanne. Leanne. Where yeah. do you live, Leanne? Um, a small town called Atherston. Oh, yes, where's that? Uh, it's not far from Coventry. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what do you do there? Uh, I'm a business analyst. She's a business analyst. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Rebecca, that's what she does. She's a business analyst. <laughs> Doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfectly valid 
job. Yeah, it is. You're a singer. She's a business yeah, analyst. <laughs> she loves analysing business. It's what gets her up in the morning. <laughs> Leanne, delight us with your tail. Right, it's, it's a bit embarrassing, actually. I can't. Good! <laughs> That's the point! Already under a winner. If it's better than mashed potato, I'll let you walk. So, when I was much younger and foolish, yes. um, I was on holiday with some friends. Oh, yes. And uh, we decided one night to go skinny dipping uh, in the lake. Do I have to stop you there? Already, mashed potato, <laughs> you've surpassed it. <laughs> <laughs> You're naked on holiday. <laughs> Hoorah! <It's fine>. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was so desperate to get into the lake so that people didn't see me uh, that I ran as fast as I could, slipped over on the top step, knocked myself out, and then ended up actually getting rescued out of the lake by my friends. So, <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Should we let her walk? Oh, I think so. Yes, we should let you so, walk. Yeah. Yeah. Let you walk. Go on, walk. Go on, Leanne. Oh, one more, one more. OK, La last one, last one. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello! Hi. Hi, what's your name? Yaz, why is that? Oh, all right, I'll write it down. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> why is that? <laughs> yeah, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where do you live, Yaz with a Z? <laughs> I live in Weybridge. Weybridge. And what do you do for a living? Marketing analyst. <gasps> Another one. More of the analysts. They love the analysts. <laughs> oh, they love analysing. Uh, OK, uh, Yaz. I think I've got it right. Yes, that is Yaz. Yes. yes. Y-A-Z. It's Y-A-Z. Y -A -Z. Y -A -Z. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> off you go, Yaz. Right, this is about my previous job. Uh, I had recently started this job, and we had this Christmas dinner. Uh, it's a huge table, and I, yeah, they just met. We just set mixed uh, mixed teams, and the sales director, the top man, uh, just was sitting next to me, and I was like, oh, I, this is a good opportunity, so I can show off. Uh, anyway, so they were talking about work, you know, they were talking about promotions and everything, and I just want to show myself that I know what they're talking about. I turned, and we. I'm glad you did. <laughs> called One Month Free, so we give customers a one month free product. <laughs> and then I turned around and said to the sales director, said, do you want one night stand <laughs> instead of one month free? <laughs> oh God, thank you, Yaz. Uh, well done, everyone. Uh, if you'd like to uh, join us on the show and have a go in the big picture, you can contact us via our website at this very address. Thank you to my lovely guest tonight, Rebecca Ferguson. <laughs> with pretty Trap star Tiny Temper, Queen of Comedy, Miranda Hart, and star of stage and screen, Julie Walters. I'll see you then next. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>